Good afternoon. On behalf of the mayor and council of the city of Jacksonville, it is my honor to welcome you to this ceremony. I am Richard Woodruff. It is my privilege to be the manager of this great city. Let us begin this evening by an invocation from Pastor Chris Phillips, River of Life Church. Please stand. Let's bow our heads and pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you for our community. We thank you for community leaders. We thank you for people that are willing to sacrifice their lives and give of their time to serve this city. And we pray now that you would bless this swearing-in ceremony. We pray that you would bless these men that are being sworn in today, that they would be able to serve with integrity, and Lord, that you would lead them and guide them and bless them with wisdom in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this gathering, and Lord, we thank you for our community, and we ask you to bless us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing. At this time, I'd like to recognize George Barrows, Vice Chair Commandant, Onslow County Detachment, Marine Corps League, to lead us in the pledge. Sir. Good evening. Good evening. The first thing I would like to explain is how to render the proper salute. I've seen it done in so many ways. There's no one here covered other than me. So when you render the salute, put your right hand over your heart. Face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. As established by the United States Constitution, we have a privilege that few people around the world have, and that is the privilege of electing and voting for our leaders. The United States Constitution established that privilege, and that privilege extends not only to the United States federal level, but to the state level and to the county level and tonight to the city level. As citizens, it is our privilege, but more importantly, it is our responsibility to elect, to vote, and then support those that have been placed in office. Tonight we come to honor that continuing tradition established by the United States Constitution, and that is to ceremonially, ceremoniously recognize and swear in for duty those that have been so elected. This evening we will be honored to have several of our local judges who will be participating in this ceremony. Each swearing-in ceremony will occur individually. We would encourage family to join those being sworn in. We would also encourage anyone who would like to come up to take a picture to do so, but only after the ceremony of swearing in that individual has occurred. So we will announce when it's proper to take uh, photographs. At this time, it is indeed my honor to introduce to you the Honorable Paul Hardison, District Court Judge, who will swear in Jerry Bittner. Please stand forward. Ms. Bittner. Would you place your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand, repeat after me. I and state your name. I, Jerry Bittner. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that, that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of my office as councilman. The duties of my office as councilman. And maintain. And maintain. And uphold all the laws. And uphold all the laws. And regulations. And regulations. Of the city of Jacksonville. Of the city of Jacksonville. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Judge Hardison, if you would not mind coming back up, I think there's several folks who would like photographs. So if you'll come back up and we'll 
Ask Mr. Butner to put his hand on the Bible again. And, and feel free to come right on up into the front part of the chamber. Thanks. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to ask Judge Hardison to come back up for the swearing in of Jerome Willingham. Please, family, friends, join. Raise your right hand, please. I state your name. I, Jerome Willingham. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of my office as councilman. The duties of my office as councilman and maintain and uphold and maintain and uphold all the laws and regulations all the laws and regulations of the city of Jacksonville of the city of Jacksonville so help me God so help me God congratulations <laughs> photos please anyone for photos okay ready Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the, to the microphone the Honorable Charles Henry, Superior Court Judge. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Randy Thomas and family, please come forward to be sworn in. I and state your name. I, Randy Thomas. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not in, inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent, inconsistent therewith. And I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties of my office as councilman the duties of my office as councilman and maintain and uphold and maintain and uphold all the laws and regulations all the laws and regulations of the city of Jacksonville of the city of Jacksonville so help me God so help me God congratulations Thank you. Thank you. Step forward please step forward for photos <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. At this time, I'd rec like to recognize Bob Warden, invite him and his family to come forward for swearing in. I and state your name, please. Bob Warden. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear that I'll support and maintain? That I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office as the, councilman. The duties of my office as councilman and maintain and uphold and maintain and uphold all the laws and regulations all the laws and regulations of the city of Jacksonville of the city of Jacksonville so help me God so help me God congratulations please step forward for photographs Thank you. 
Congratulations. One of the great things about local government is we do not run as Democrats or Republicans, we run as citizens. At this time, I'd like to ask the mayor and the six elected officials as council members to now take their seat on dais. Please join me in welcoming them to their new role. We're going to have an organizational meeting as established by the city charter. Once the elected officials have been sworn in, they are to have an organizational meeting to fulfill certain responsibilities of the charter. At this time, Mr. Mayor, I will turn it over to you. Thank you, Richard. I will now call this organizational meeting of the Jacksonville City Council to order. Uh, I want to welcome back all the members of the uh, previous council. Uh, uh, it's, we've gotten a lot done over the last four years uh, together, and I hope that we can continue to work together as, a, as a, an elected body for the citizens of this great city of ours that we live in. Uh, we're, we're blessed to have such a competent staff uh, to carry out the directives of this council, and uh, we can all we, we can all count our blessings for that uh, and uh, I can think of no other uh, people that I'd rather serve with right now than the ones that are stand, that are sitting up here at this dais based on what we've done over those last four years working together and again it's not always agreeing with every item every iota of business that comes before the council but it is that our ability to communicate with one another and negotiate and compromise in the best interest of our our, our public that's what we're here for. We're not here for any personal aggrandizement or any gain uh, whatsoever, but we work here for the city, for the people that live in this city. People that think we do it for the money, well, they need to uh, check the public record on that as to what we get paid <laughs> to put up with this uh, business of ours. Uh, but the thing about it is we do it because we love this city and we are, are all about the people that live here. We're very fortunate to be a different kind of city. Uh, we have our large contingent of military personnel that live and shop and play in this city. We're very lucky uh, that we have such fine people, you know, that do come in and out of this community as a result of being in the military. They bring a lot to this community. Uh, we're very fortunate to have that, uh, that mixture of regions all over this country. We're a little bit of everybody, you know. Uh, people say to me, you know, well, you know, are you from here? And, you know, there's a few of us that are from here. They're sitting up here on this board. We've been here all our lives. You know, people think that that's unusual. It is. You know, in the grand scheme of things, there's a lot of us that haven't lived, or uh, there's a lot of people that haven't only lived here a few years, but they're just as much part of this community as us that have lived here all our lives. But uh, I guess uh, I'm going to close out here by saying again that I'm, I, I feel very blessed to have these folks up here at this dais to work with and do the business of this city. Um, I'll turn to any member of the council now that wishes to make a remark, and I'll start with uh, Mr. Warden. Okay. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. First off, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to say a bunch of thank yous, and of course number one would be thank you to the voters who supported me. Thank you very much. I take that really not as a reflection on me, but as a reflection on the council. Uh, I think it shows that they've been very well satisfied with the direction the city has taken the last several years, and, and I hope we continue to do so. And thank you again for that support. I uh, also wanted to thank those friends who allowed me to put a sign in their yard, who perhaps sent me some money, who gave me some encouragement, who talked to their friends. Thank you so much to my very good friends who spent time at my house and um, licked envelopes and licked stamps and stuffed envelopes and, and so forth. I, I can't thank you enough for, for your help and your love. Thank you for that. Um, I, of course, I've also got to thank my, my, my family. I talk about my crazy family. Um, the, the, the love support that, that y'all did, uh, the, the financial support too. Thank you for working all day at the at the Oktoberfest on my behalf, thank you so much. 
Of course, my mother-in-law, thank you for allowing me to be such a, a, a part of your family. Thank you for, for, I love you like a mom, so love you. And of course, um, I also had two important folks who gave me uh, some good advice, Tom Malam and Horace Mann. Uh, thank you for your help in, in strategizing and, and planning out what we were going to do and, and so forth. Thank you so much. So. Then, of course, last but certainly not least, uh, my best friend. Thank you, honey. Love you. That's all, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Phillips. Uh, well, I, too, have to express my gratitude to the voters that came out and voted, uh, even the ones that didn't vote for me this time. I'm going to thank them as well because it's, a, it's an effort to get out. I know it, we don't have a big turnout on our election, so it, the people that do vote, they should know that they are very important. Uh, thanks to my wife, Kathy, my biggest supporter, my mom and dad that are here tonight. I can't help but reflect back on my first election and, and the help that Dr. K. Gresham gave me and encouragement that, that really meant so much to me. They actually gave me the confidence to, to come up here and, and try to do the best job that I can. You know, I'm proud of what's happened, gone on in the past six years. Uh, I feel like we're a, a, better, a better city. I know it's a better looking city. We've got a lot of uh, improvements to our appearance. There's a lot more that are coming. We have a lot of opportunities. We have a, probably more challenges, though, with our financial uh, situation that going forward. But we're all working hard toward the same end, even though, like we said, we don't always agree on every item. I think we can agree that we all have the same objective in mind as far as serving the taxpayer at the best possible rate. You know, campaigning is always fun, getting out there and see, meeting people and, and talking to everyone. Uh, I want to thank my church, Trinity United Methodist Church. They were a big part of my campaign this year. They helped out with the, the thrust of my effort. Again, I just look forward to working with this group, um, look forward to working with the manager and the staff. I do feel like we've got a good, a good group of employees. Uh, all of us as well are employees. So just thanks again. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Mr. Willingham. Thank you. This, I've been doing this for a while, but it, it never gets old. And I think I enjoy it now uh, much better than I ever did. Um, I thank the, the voters. I thank the, the residents. And um, it's just great to have this opportunity to serve in, in this capacity. One of the things that you do learn from being here is the importance of partnerships, the partnership that we form um, amongst council, the partnership that we form with the staff, and the partnerships that we form with the volunteer community um, really makes the city what it is. I see um, Mr. Forney in the, the audience and Marshall Wright and um, Vice, uh, Junior Vice Commandant Barrows, and uh, just really have such admiration and respect for all the, um, the community servants and the, and the volunteers and what they give back to the city to help us do what we do. I, um, going into this, I didn't know if I'd have opposition. You don't want to take things for granted. But um, my thoughts going into the election were that I'd just like to finish up on some of the wonderful things that we're doing in the city of Jacksonville. I wanted to be able to see the, um, the fruition of our public safety uh, complex and a lot of nice things that we're doing downtown to really change the, um, the face of the city. Uh, a lot of the things that we're just um, embarking on with our tourism program and um, um, investing in, in that way in this city. And I'm in constant contact with people who have grown up here and moved away. And um, this is a time when they seem um, more proud than any other for the face of Jacksonville and the things that, that, that we've been able to embark upon. So thanks to all of you. Thanks to the staff for the wonderful job that you do. And it's just a pleasure to sit up here. and. Um, of course, we're part-time, but we have uh, a fantastic staff of full-time people 
who do the things that um, 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 make this partnership work. So thank you so much. Mr. Willingham. Mr. Bitter. Thank you, Mayor. Four years ago at a similar swearing in ceremony, I never thought I'd be repeating this scene. I thought at that time this term would be my last, uh, my final one. But you know, as time went on, I thought about all the progress that's been made, the challenges that still exist, along with the opportunities that are there to take advantage of to make Jacksonville an even better place to live, work, and play. And I thought that's all very important and I enjoy being part of that process. Moreover, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable time over the last four years working with a council that is truly harmonious in terms of establishing working relationships for the betterment of the city. This is a council that agrees on many issues, but there are, this is a council that also disagrees at times. But at the same time, we listen to each other, we listen to dissenting opinions, and we take good advice from that dialogue. So the decision to run again was rather easy. After all, when you're making progress, having fun, and you have a great working relationship with the council, plus an excellent city manager and staff, what's there not to like? So I thank all of you, far too many people, too numerous to, for me to thank individually, but you know you all have a special place in my heart for your support, and also to the voters who supported me. I thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to serve. It's a privilege and an honor, and one I very much appreciate. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bitter. I would just like to say to my fellow councilmen, congratulations again on your reelection, and I look forward to working with you this year. This is quite a celebration tonight, not only the swearing in of uh, the new council, but it's also Miss Angela Washington's birthday. <laughs> 25 never looks so good. How about that? Mayor Pro Tem Thank you, Mayor. Just a congratulations to my fellow council members, and I, I, I very much. Uh, uh, I'm honored to be here with all of you and, and looking forward to our continued work and relationship. So thank you. Thank you. That's <clears throat> so our next order of business here is we're going to look at doing these advisory committee uh, liaison appointments. Um, I'm assuming. Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem first. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm jumping the gun, aren't I? Yeah. Thank you, John. Let's do the election of a mayor pro tem first. Mr. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Bittner. I have the honor to renominate mayor, mayor pro tem Michael Lazara for another term. Is there, is there any other nominations? I move we close the nominations and accept uh, Michael Lazara as uh, by acclamation. Second. So motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you. Congratulations. Now. Now, John? Okay, now. Okay. We'll do our advisory committee appointments and uh, <clears throat> I think y'all did such a fine job of the advisory uh, positions y'all held in the last council that I, I, would, I would just be totally, uh, I, I would be doing a terrible job by changing up. So Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee, I believe that is birthday girl, okay. Uh, Bold, I believe is Randy, you, you're still good with that, right? Okay. Uh, Board of Adjustment was Mr. Bittner over here. Uh, community Development Advisory was Mr. Willingham. Uh, and Planning Advisory Board was Mr. Warden. Uh, Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee is Mr. Willingham and the Water and Sewer Advisory Committee is Mr. Thomas. And uh, do we need to take any other action other than those appointments? Okay. 
the next uh, appointments are, are not exactly appointments, but they are elections to uh, committees. Uh, we have the Onslow Civic Affairs Committee that is currently being, uh, uh, our liaison is Mr. Bittner, and at this time I would open the floor up to any nominations for that. I didn't miss anything, did I? Okay, good. Mayor, I move that Mr. Bittner continue to serve on the Civic Affairs Committee. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, currently uh, we have two members on the Transportation Advisory Committee. I think that's Mr. Warden and Mr. Lazar, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Lazar. I've had no one express interest in this other than the two current members. Is there any nominations? Move for their renomination. Second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 So this time, uh, since we have taken care of the organizational business of this council, we're going to adjourn to the uh, atrium for some refreshments and a reception. Thank you for coming. <laughs>